we wait. Today's video is going to be a little different. So, as some of you may know, some of you may not know, I got my tubes tied. But I have been feeling a little weird lately. And I am 10 days, no, I'm 11 days late. Um, it wasn't the fact of me being late. It was other things that are happening with it. Because, I mean, I got my tubes tied. And ever since, I kind of have been a little off. But for the last few periods they were on time so i'm like what's happening two things either pregnant or it could be due to still hormones or it could be because i started working back out again but only one way to solve that take a test so that's what we're about to do okay i got the simple ones that say pregnant or not pregnant. I don't have time to be playing with lines and plus signs. I have my little cup. I'm just gonna pee in a cup and let's see how this goes. Sorry, Judah's sleepy. either three or five seconds, one or the other. Now we wait. I'm gonna walk away because I'm gonna end up just standing here staring at it. I'm gonna just wait. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Taking these are always so nerve wracking. My heart is pounding. Okay. Breathe, relax. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Whenever I see it stop blinking, I'm gonna look. Or I should, I should put a timer on. Let me put a timer on. Okay, so the timer just went off. I'm about to check it. Okay, let's. Mm -mm, come on. sure y'all want to know what it is huh hold on baby number four <laughs> you know sometimes when you know you know and as soon as I get the feeling that I might, that's when I decide to take test. Never fails. Looks like it's time to tell my husband. We're gonna get his reaction.
two hours later. Okay, so quick video update. I went to get blood work done yesterday because of the positive pregnancy test and of course because my tubes are tied. Um, the blood test did come back positive, however, they want me to go back again because my levels are low and they want to see if they'll double and increase. Also because they won't be able to see anything until my levels have reached like a thousand something and right now they're just a hundred something. So, my doctor wants me to go back, sorry, my daughter wants me to, daughter, my doctor wants me to go back on next week on Monday so that I can get more blood testing and then once we get the results of that, we'll try to schedule an ultrasound ASAP so we can see what's going on because obviously the main concern is this being an ectopic pregnancy and for those of you who don't know, that's basically just a pregnancy that's outside of the uterus, so in a fallopian tube or anywhere else. Um, and that could be very catastrophic and dangerous for me and obviously the baby. I would not be able to keep that pregnancy. So that's the main concern right now is to make sure that it's a healthy, normal pregnancy and not an abnormal pregnancy. But, um, yeah, that's just the update. Um, I'll have more info next week. Okay, good morning, guys. So today is Monday. And I just arrived at the hospital. I'm about to get my blood test. I've been feeling good this past weekend, um, other than horrible gas yesterday, but turned out to just be just gas. I thought something was wrong, but still no spotting, still no horrible cramping. So, so far, so good. The hope today is that my levels have increased enough to where they can go ahead and get an ultrasound ready so we can see what's going on. But I feel pretty good, so I'm hoping everything is normal, but I'll get the results back later on today and I'll update you guys when I get that phone call. Let's go get this blood drawn. Okay, so I just got my results back and I just got a phone call from my midwife. Apparently, last week my levels were my levels were 166. Today my levels were 88. So they've decreased. And she asked if I've been having any bleeding at all. I haven't bled at all. And she said, typically the only reason why my levels would drop is if I'm having like a miscarriage, but I haven't been bleeding. So she wants me to come back in two days to get another test to see what's going on. But I haven't been bleeding. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm kind of sad because I was hoping for good news. This isn't bad news, but this isn't good news either. Either. It's not looking like it's going to be good, but you know, I'm going to keep praying on it. I'm going to keep waiting and we'll revisit this in two days. That's it. Till, till next time. Okay, so I am back with an update a lot sooner than I thought I would be. Um... I was about to lay down for the night and I went to the restroom and noticed that I was bleeding. Um, I'm not in like excruciating pain. It feels like a period. So I called my doctor and based on my levels, like I said in the last clip, my levels went from 188 and they dropped to, no, they went from 166 and dropped to an 88. So she kind of already braced me for the chances of a miscarriage already because she asked if I was bleeding earlier I said no she said typically you know when your levels drop like that you're having a miscarriage and what will happen is that I'll have a late period and that seems to be what's happening now um I'm not sure how I feel at the moment I kind of got all my tears out earlier with the news so I was sort of bracing myself but I was still kind of having some hope that maybe, you know, maybe things would change. But after calling the doctor and hearing, she's like, you know, you the pregnancy didn't stick. You are what sounds like having a period right now, which means no more baby, no more pregnancy. And it's kind of an emotional roller coaster. I thought that I would be able to process this whole I thought I'd be able to, I can't think straight. I thought I would be able to 
you know document this whole process of like you know miracle baby having my tubes i like yes we weren't planning for another baby but we had just wrapped our heads around the idea of a new baby we were accepting of that idea so to now kind of come to the realization that um there's not going to be one and i am having a miscarriage i'm I'm not sure how to feel because I've never had a miscarriage before. I've never been through this before. Every pregnancy I've had, I've had children. So this is kind of, um, it's going to be a process. But I want to be transparent with you guys because there may be other people out there who, you know, have gone through the same thing. Also, if you are considering getting your tubes tied, this could happen. You could end up getting pregnant, but the pregnancy could not stick. It's kind of bittersweet because, I mean, you get your tubes tied to prevent yourself from having children. But when you actually conceive, you know, it's 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 an emotional roller coaster. So this is definitely what can happen when you get a tubal ligation and you do end up getting pregnant. I thought this would be a process of videos that I would be able to upload but it seems like all the clips that I have documented will just get smushed into one video because there's not going to be a journey so it's okay I'm okay um, me and my husband were okay um, I'm probably gonna have to kind of you know marinate on the idea and mar let just kind of I don't know I, I'm gonna have to pray and kinda get myself together but I'm okay. To all my supporters, to all my new supporters, we're okay. Um we just ask for prayers and positive vibes and I'm okay. Um that's about it for this video. I hate to end this video off on such a sour note but um transparency can't hide it, can't fake it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.